Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jalen. If you're new here, my channel is all about skincare, beauty, and a little bit of lifestyle. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my glowy makeup look. This is gonna be super dewy, glowy, radiant, and it's gonna be beautiful for the summer. The skincare routine that I did, it is very hydrating, so all of that moisture is gonna come through in my final look because I'm not going for a matte look at all. I want something fresh and dewy for the summer, so this is gonna be perfect for that. And I just primed my face and now I'm going to do my brows. And I've been doing the fluffy eyebrow look lately. That's not what I've been used to doing, but I wanted to try it out. I was hesitant to try it because I have really fine eyebrow hairs. Like, they're not naturally fluffy at all. So, I kind of have to like still fill mine in quite a bit to get that fluffy look. But I'm going to show you guys how I do that. And if you have thin eyebrows, maybe you could do this too. If you have another way of doing it, definitely let me know. I'm going to take the NYX Brow Glue. I actually saw this on TikTok and I was like, let me try it. <laughs> I got it from um, CVS. I'm going to brush my eyebrows with my spoolie really quickly. Just to lay them all out. And now I'm going to go in with the NYX brow glue and I believe don't quote me on this <laughs> but I believe you are supposed to just like fan the eyebrows up guys this is like my third or fourth time doing this fluffy brow look so bear with me and then I kind of like arch them at the top if that makes sense just like that so this one would be like done and I'm just going to do this brow really quick. So now that my brows are fluffed, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in an angled brush and kind of just like fill them in. I'm not going to go in like super heavy. I'm just going to do like light flicks on the eyebrow and also I, from my experience, of doing this like three or four times I like to kind of let the brow glue dry down a little bit before I go in with the pomade I found that when you apply the pomade when the brow glue is still wet it kind of just like smears it around and the pomade doesn't go on as well I think it's because like the brow glue is kind of waxy the pomade is waxy and it just doesn't mix well together when the brow glue is wet um, when it's dry though i think it works fine and i think what i've seen people do in this look is use like a felt tip eyebrow marker um i tried to find one from nyx but i couldn't find it and so i just reverted to what i know best which is the dip brow pomade from abh so i think the fluffy brow look is like very beautiful. I think it's gorgeous, especially when people have, you know, fuller eyebrows. It kind of just looks effortless. It looks like, you know, you just threw on your makeup and it's like, oh, I woke up like this, you know. I think it's very pretty. So as you can see, I'm doing like very light strokes with this pomade. Like it's, and I don't even have a lot on the brush. I also tried to do this look with the NYX eyebrow pencil, um, but that didn't quite work for me. I feel like I needed something that was more full coverage because my eyebrows are just so thin. And this is like my natural eyebrow, like it's naturally thin. It's not something that like I overwaxed or overplugged. I was born with these. So I think this looks pretty good as good as like i can do because i am not a pro at this at all one thing that i always find comfort in knowing is that i can always use concealer to clean up my brows 
which I'm gonna do now. I'm using my Fenty Beauty concealer and I'm just gonna clean up the bottom and maybe a little bit from the top. I'm going for like a more drawn out look versus like a super like arched look. Now that my brows are done, I'm going to take my Rare Beauty liquid highlighter and dab it onto the like highlight parts of my face. And I'm going to use my damp beauty sponge and just dab it basically in the same areas that I would apply highlighter like afterwards. I'm applying it directly to the sponge because I find that the highlighter dries down pretty quickly. This is going to help get that like underlying glow from within. This shade is Flaunt and it's actually like pretty muted on my skin. Like it's not overdoing it. It's really gonna look subtle and just like glowy from underneath the foundation. And I guess you could put this all over. I don't think I would. <laughs> But I guess you could if you wanted to have like an all over glow, but I really just want the high parts of my face to shine. So I've applied it to my cheekbones, my nose, the center of my forehead. I'm also going to hit my chin and that'll be the last place. And also because my face was so hydrated before I started applying this, it's just going to be like double the natural radiance. Now I'm gonna take my Pro Filter Foundation by Fenty Beauty. This is probably about one and a half pumps that I have on my face now. And I'm gonna use the other end of my beauty sponge to blend this out. I'm also just using um, a foundation brush just to go over top of this. I think this look would also work really well if you have a hydrating foundation or if you have um, a tinted moisturizer. It would also look really pretty with that. I'm just going to add a dab of concealer. This is my Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 350. And I'm just going to apply it to the inner corner and then outer corner of my eye. So I don't want it to be too heavy. I want it to still look pretty light and fresh. Okay, I used my other beauty sponge, this is a smaller one, to blend out my concealer. And I'm going to use the same sponge to add just a little bit of my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't want it to be too heavy, and I definitely don't want to look pale and dry. So I'm only adding a little bit underneath my eye area. And after I like dip it into my sponge, I'm patting it down on a paper towel just to get like some of the excess product off of there. I love this translucent powder though. It is actually really amazing and it like blurs your skin. Like if you have like pores that you want to like minimize, definitely use this translucent powder. It's really great. And I'm also gonna add a bit to my forehead and my nose because these tend to get oily pretty quickly. And you can see the translucent powder as it's supposed to is sucking up some of the shine that I have on my face. That's fine, that's what the product is for. But at the end of the routine, I'm going to um, set my face in a way that will kind of give me back that dewy look. Now I'm going to bronze and I'm going to use this big fluffy brush in my ABH bronzer in the shade Rich Amber. And I'm using this big fluffy brush because I don't want the bronzer to be so concentrated right, you know, in the contour area of my skin. I want it to look more blown out and I want it to be more natural. I want to have that like sun-kissed glow look. For blush, I'm going to use this Ciate London Mixed Blush. It's very pretty. It has some shimmer in there, which is really nice. And it's very, like, muted. I think it's 
not super noticeable like it's not bam in your face pink which is what I really like about it I'm just making sure that everything is blended in with my fluffy brush so next I'm going to move on to the eyes and for the eyes I'm just doing a simple shimmer shade on the lid and then eyeliner and mascara that's it so for the shimmer shade, I'm going to use um, the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Palette. This is a beautiful pink palette. I actually have not used it yet. This is what it looks like. Beautiful shades of pink. Some of these shades will look better on my skin tone than others, but that's okay. I'm going to use this shade Affinity, which is, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's kind of like a... Um, champagne almost like a champagne rose gold a little bit and I'm actually just going to apply this with my finger because I really want it to have like the full color oh yeah that's pretty gonna bring it up a little bit just to blow it out some obviously you can apply this with a brush you could even use a damp brush but my finger works great here. And again, I'm bringing it up a little bit to my brow bone just so that it's not all concentrated on the lid. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. The mascara that I'm gonna use today is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And I feel like this has been talked about a lot because it was all over TikTok. Like, I think it was so popular that People were having trouble finding it in stores because it was sold out. But I got mine from CVS. And what's funny is that I was so excited that I actually found it in the store that I, one, picked up the waterproof version. I don't really care for waterproof mascaras if I'm not getting my face wet. And two, I picked up brownish black. Not even true black. Oh gosh, I was so mad when I got home. But anyways, this is going to be my first layer of mascara and then I'm going to go over top of it with my Fenty Beauty mascara. And I'm doing that because I want it to be black. Let me know if you have tried this mascara and what you think about it because I've seen like crazy videos on TikTok about this mascara and people will say it's like game changing, it's a holy grail, like... The before and after results that I've seen on TikTok too when people use this mascara is crazy. I think it does a good job, like for sure. I feel indifferent about the applicator. It has like these spikes on it. I don't really like mascara applicators that are like this, but it's actually not bad. For eyeliner, I'm going to take these two from ColourPop. I have a brown and a white. And I'm going to put the white down on first and I'm going to put the brown on top because I don't want to do like a stark white eyeliner in my waterline. I don't think that <laughs> looks very good on me. So I'm going to mix the brown in to kind of mellow out the white some. So this is what it looks like with just the white. And I think it makes my eyes look too big. So that's why I like to go in with the brown on top. So it still gives like a natural kind of look, but it's not like so like white. Y'all know we have to add more highlighter on top of the foundation to bring the look together and to have that glowy dewy look that we're going for. So I'm going to take these two highlighters by Becca Cosmetics. I have Champagne Pop and Topaz. First, I'm going to do Topaz basically in the same areas that I applied the Rare Beauty highlighter except for my forehead and topaz is a beautiful look at it it is a beautiful deep gold it's so like bronzy and pretty and then i put the champagne pop on top just to kind of give it like this bright kind of gold look you see it's very bronzy it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and what I'm going to do too is kind of bring it into um, my eyelid a little bit. I'm just going to sweep it up there just to make it all connect. Now for a bit of champagne pop right on top. And I feel like champagne pop is going to give that kind of like wow factor like oh my god that girl is glowing kind of look. So 
So I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Or not. It's a new bottle, so it's like, <laughs> gotta press it a few times. Okay. I'm gonna press this into my skin to kind of bring some like moisture back to my face so it's not just like a dry face with powder and foundation. I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Spray. And I actually have not used this before, but it has hyaluronic acid. It is a hydrating and plumping makeup fixing spray. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's try it out. Why not? I'm actually going to like kind of cover up my shirt <laughs> because I don't want this spray. Like I don't really know everything that's in it and I haven't used it before. So I don't want it to stain my top. Okay, so I just <laughs> took this blanket. First time using it. Okay, and I'm just gonna let that dry down by itself. But my face is looking very dewy, which is exactly what I was going for. I wanna look fresh and radiant and glowing. So I think that I really achieved that with this look. I think my skin looks very glowy i think it looks really pretty i already have some lip balm on my lips but over top of it i'm gonna put the fenty cream gloss balm in fenty glow i think with these types of looks like you know very glowy and dewy i think a glossy lip looks best so guys this is my final look obviously i took my hair out and I'm loving this look, you guys. I think it is so pretty. It's so like just refreshing. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this look, if you would try it. If you have a different method for doing this glowy makeup look, I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.